that. So we're gonna ignore the fact that I am totally disgusting right now. Um, at least I feel totally gross. My hair is really greasy. Um, but the reason I am recording this video is because I was going to finally use the deep conditioning treatment for my overtone uh, just because I don't know why I waited this long to try it. But I don't wash my hair too often, so that's probably why it took forever. I normally only wash my hair maybe like once or twice a week, and I use dry shampoo on a regular. But I, I recorded a video before this one, and I was trying to see if using the daily conditioner was going to posit any more color to my hair than what I already have. So, um, no, it didn't. And I basically feel like it maintained the color that I have, which I like. I like it. I like it a lot, but um, we're going to do the deep treatment today just to see what, uh, what it does to my hair. But if you haven't been to one of my videos before, my name is Jules. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It's, I don't know which side it's on but it's there it's like below me um, and it's red and if you also find this helpful give it a thumbs up um, but otherwise let's just get into the video all right this is what we're going to be using today I am using the rose gold overtone deep treatment um, use disposable gloves, apply treatment generously to wet hair for brighter results used on dry hair. No, thank you. Wait 10 to 15 minutes, rinse clean. All right, so there's no way in heck I am applying this to my dry hair because that would take forever. It'd be like re-dyeing my hair all over again. And I, no, that's not the point of doing this whole thing with overtone. It's supposed to be easy. <laughs> basically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be applying this while I'm in the shower and um, doing exactly as the direction said to do. And then I'll just kind of show you guys what it looks like. Um, I mean, I feel like y'all have seen my hair. Um, I'll insert a clip of what my hair currently looks like because it hasn't changed since I haven't washed it since that last video. Uh, so you'll be able to see the difference. I'll try and do like a side by side. I don't know. Um, yeah, so I will be right back. I'm gonna go take a shower, put it in my hair, see what happens. All right, so in case you couldn't tell by my towel that's basically falling apart, I just got out of the shower. So I'm sorry because I didn't properly explain what overtone is for, <laughs> for y'all that don't know what it is. But basically it is, to me, a godsend from the hair coloring gods. Okay, so the appeal with Overtone is it's basically a color depositing conditioner that you can use with warm water. Whereas if you are used to coloring your hair, you know that warm water washes out the color in your hair, but Overtone claims that it actually works better with warm water than cold water. So, for people that color their hair, that means no more cold showers, <laughs> which is so exciting. That's basically what it is. The uh, deep treatment that I showed earlier is something that you're supposed to use like whenever you want an extra boost of color. You're supposed to use the daily conditioner every time you wash your hair to just maintain the color, but anytime you want an extra boost is when you use the other one. And you can buy them in a set online so that it all goes together and it comes with like a little travel size one as well. I'll be sure to list everything down in the description box. That way if you did wanna go check these products out that you'll have a direct link to it. So I typically do this in my videos in case you haven't noticed if you haven't checked out my description box. I did exactly what it said with the exception of wearing disposable gloves. I did not do that and as you can see, my hands are not stained. So I'm not going to suggest that you don't wear disposable gloves. I'm just letting you know that I personally did not wear disposable gloves and it didn't do anything to my very fair skin. 
take it how you want it. However, I did notice when I was in the shower that my hair looked darker. So, I mean, we're already on the upside of that. I am going to blow dry my hair a little bit tonight, but I don't want to like fully blow dry it. I don't know. I don't want to damage it too much. So, um, but I do have uh, a white bed. So going to bed with wet colored hair is like a little intimidating, but that's another one of the appeals of overtone is it doesn't stain your pillows. I haven't had any problems the other times that I've used it with it staining my pillows because I typically have white, but it just makes me feel a little bit better if it's blow dried just like a little bit. So I'm going to go blow dry my hair a little bit and we'll just kind of compare and see what it looks like. For any of those curious, I am using a wet brush. I got it at Sally's. And it's supposedly supposed to be okay to brush your hair with this brush. So it's not completely dry. Am I noticing like a huge color difference? No. No, I am definitely not noticing a huge color difference, um, which is like a little disappointing, but at the same time, like I didn't want it much darker than the color I already had it. I was a little worried about, about putting the deep treatment in my hair because I just didn't know how vibrant it was gonna make it because it's the reason I did not get the regular pink because the regular pink makes it like hot pink. Let me see if I have something that color. Like, oh my God, it makes it like, it makes it like this hot pink. And um, I mean, so when I was using that before about a year ago, I was just using just the daily conditioner and I was use, I was mixing it with my other conditioner because it was just like way too vibrant than what I wanted. Like this is really, this is really what I wanted. Uh, so I would like let it fade out quite a bit. Um, so I guess in return it like lasted me a little bit longer but it didn't give me the exact color I wanted like right away. Sorry, I guess I'm wearing frame now. I'm just getting used to my new setup. I don't know if y'all can tell I changed um, my room and I also figured out how to use my computer as a monitor. So I'm really excited about that. Um, but anyway, back to my hair. <sighs> it's damp and I'm not gonna go to bed. Like right now I'm gonna watch some TV, but I will see you guys in the morning when I actually do my hair and um, we'll kind of do a comparison of what it looked like in my last video uh, because well, I'm going to try to replicate like similar light conditions because this is obviously like all artificial light because it is midnight. <laughs> I will see you guys tomorrow.
so now that my hair is all straight and fresh and clean um let's talk about the color okay so last night it was like midnight when I colored my hair and I didn't really see too much of a difference I don't know if it was because I was tired or what but I do see that it is like a little bit darker and you also need to keep in mind that my hair is already pink so it's not going to like turn a totally different color or get totally darker uh, because my hair is already pink. So um, like let's say if you had like bleached hair already, it would definitely turn your hair pink. Um, whereas mine, it's just making it more vibrant. So um, in that sense, I really like it. Um, I would highly suggest this if you are someone who is um, maintaining your hair color just for the sheer fact that you don't have to take cold showers anymore. Um, it is on the pricier side, I will say that. So, um, but it definitely costs less than like going to a salon and like having your hair done. But if you like do your hair at home, I don't know. It's kind of like a, is it worth it to you? I don't know. Um, but to me, it is definitely worth it. I, um, I think I spent 60 bucks and I got two daily conditioners, a deep treatment, and then like a little travel size and I got free shipping. So, um, the only bad thing was is when I did order this, it was back ordered, so it did take a while to get to me. It took like uh, maybe almost a month to get to me, but I think it was worth it. So um, I'm really excited to uh, keep using this. I'm probably only going to be using that deep conditioning treatment maybe like once every t couple weeks and just using the daily conditioner every time I wash my hair. So. Like maybe every fourth or fifth time I wash my hair, I'll, I'll do that conditioning treatment. Honestly, like it may not look like it's made a big difference in like my current hair color, but I do just want to say like normally when I do wash my hair, like it does not matter what kind of conditioner or shampoo I use. If I'm not using a color depositing shampoo, my hair looks drastically different between each time I wash it. So the fact that it's maintaining my hair color and my hair color looks the same is actually really awesome so I just wanted to point that out and say why this is an amazing product for me in maintaining the hair color that I truly love I'm also not entirely sure how easy it is to like get this color out of your hair after you have started using it so uh, that's not something I really plan on testing out so if that's a question you may have I'm sorry I don't have an answer for that uh, I do really like having my hair pink and I don't really plan on changing it for a while. I feel like pink really like represents who I am. Um, so unfortunately we'll be doing that. That's it for today's video. If you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions or anything you'd like to say, go ahead and leave comments down below. I will have everything listed down below that I talked about, which is just the overtone products. Um, but if this was helpful in any way to you, just go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.